a lot of time no, trying to like get him excited for the disc, trying to get him to catch rollers mm. with a soft disc, and his this, favorite this thing it? to do in the world okay. is chase mom. So I have to be really active and really motivated. And so to contrast that, I will, and I used to play ultimate frisbee in college, so I love throwing the disc, and my personal dog doesn't catch it from the air. So Rebecca was kind enough to loan me one of her dogs. She has five? Yes, five dogs. I have five <laughs> dogs. Five dogs. Um, so this is, dog fun, this is just a fun story from last week. So I have been loaned a dog who likes to catch in the air, but we just started practicing together, and we don't know each other very well yet, um, and we're going to be fantastic. Give us three months. Yes. But for now, we're still just, you know, we're figuring each other out. We're figuring it out. Um, so I went to play on our at our practice on Sunday, and I, I throw the disc. Happiest dog in the world. He gets the disc, and he goes, and he does not come back, and he runs all the way to the other side of the field. So we have some work to do. But anyway, those are the two dogs I'm working with. Lauren, do you want to talk a little bit about Ivy? Yeah. We have Instagram up. We are oh, live hi, now on Instagram. Instagram. We are uh, live on Facebook. Hello, everybody. Hi, Hello, just to share, this is not our big announcement. We're gonna wait just a couple minutes. So we've been chit-chatting and recapping about this dog, yes. which is something we've started doing that's a lot of fun. And we're talking about how all of our dogs are so different that we're working with and kind of what some of those differences are. So take it away, Lauren. Yeah, and for those that don't know, because um, I'm new to the sport too, this dog is Frisbee Games with yes. your dog. Yes. Lots and lots of Frisbee Games. So we're getting really involved with uh, the Up Dog Challenge, which we're super excited about to bring that into Miami and get clubs up and running here and to give you guys more ways to get your dogs out and active with them. Um, so my dog, her name is Ivy. I'm playing with only one of my dogs. Um, my other one is would not enjoy it. She would prefer to sleep on couch the couch potato. Couch potato. She's also old. She's also ten years old, and she's yeah, she uh, yeah, she definitely she is old. done uh, with that excitement part uh, in the most wonderful way possible. Anyways, uh, so Ivy. So Hi. Ivy is really motivated. She's super, super, super excited about the world in itself. Yeah. And the biggest thing that we're working on is she can't really catch a disc in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say every time we practice, we're catching maybe one of like five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, for only starting her like two, three weeks ago, it's not a bad average so far. No. She does the rollers really, really well. But um, and yeah, she gets like the all harder work to me. Yes. She's like she, all heart all the time. She wants it. And anybody who's watching, we have a live announcement coming up, but we're talking about Ivy yes. and learning Frisbee. And all of us are new to learning Frisbee. So we kind of are just fumbling along <laughs> throwing Frisbees in and dogs catch them. Um, we're doing better than that, but uh, but it's yeah. a lot of fun. We have we're holding clubs on Sundays, and yes. if you would like more information, um, you can find it on our Instagram or Facebook, and then also Dis Dog Miami has a lot of Instagram. And no matter what level you're at, yes. everyone's welcome. We were just and talking about this. That our goal is really to create a club that's inclusive. So if you're a beginner, you've never touched a disc, come on out. If you're really good, and you want to push it, come on out. We got we got something for everybody. We were just talking about this. We yeah. were we were. Hello, people on Instagram and Facebook. If you are live, please say hello to us. We'd love to hear from you in the comments. Who are you saying? Your boy. Ron Chisnet. Which one? The maniac? Mm-hmm. My maniac. Oh, I love him. My border collie. Well, he's so fast. He's beating me at everything. So by the <laughs> time I can say, like, jump, he's already onto, like, the tunnel. And, like, he's just, he's fast. He's yeah. Very, very fast. So it's me trying to learn how to keep up with my dog. That's what it is. And you touched on something too, so it's not just Frisbee that we're doing. A lot of these games are crossover games, and so they oh, yes. uh, combine agility too. So where my dog doesn't really catch all that great, she is awesome yes. at agility. So yes. we get points there where Rebecca gets the points at catching. Yes, yes. <laughs> well, no, you got agility points last time too. You got some. I got a lot. Done. Kismet mm -hmm. does something that I love too, or when he, he, I call it like, I, oh, I have an award for Kismet. It's like the gratuitous award. Like he loves to jump to get the Frisbee, and he's amazing. He can jump very high and do very athletic things with his body Ready. in the air. Um, but sometimes Rebecca throws it like here, and instead of just catching it, he'll <laughs> leap into the air. He'll right. catch it, jump higher than the disc, and land. It's like there. Like, was that necessary? Yes. No, had to, to do it though. Yes, had, had to do it. We call that not having self-preservation. <laughs> no I'm preservation. Just launch myself yes, as high yes, yes. and as fast as I can. No, he needs to be managed. That's <laughs> for sure. Very entertaining. He's very highly managed. Ladies, it's like Denise five said five. Hi. Denise Gillette said hi. Oh, oh hi. hi! That's my aunt. Oh, hello. hello. Um, ladies, it is 5.05. Let's do it. Get started? Okay, our big announcement. Um, we're really excited about this. Uh, for those who are newer to our company or don't know our mission, it is to empower people and dogs so that they can enjoy life together. And this theme of enjoying life with your dog has been kind of the foundation of everything we've done since I've joined the company uh, and since Rebecca and I started working together, what, how many years ago now? 
Four years. Three years. Four, five, yeah, four, three, four, text, text three, four, line. and it keeps going. <laughs> yes. I, I tried to tell someone how old I was the other day, and I did it like <laughs> 22. way back. Way, I am 18 yeah. years old. It just there. keeps going, so I don't talk about the years. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yes, but four okay. or five years ago. Four or five years we ago. We decided to yes. empower people and their dogs. Yes. To enjoy life together, because really, yes. when I think about the foundation of why most people get dogs, it's because they want to enjoy their life with their dog. And that looks different for everybody. So we like that this concept is inclusive. Um, our huge announcement, for those who have not guessed already, is that we are officially rebranding, and our new name is Happy With Dogs. So it encompasses, yeah, I know, woo! <laughs> we should have like uh, some kind of, what Confetti, do they call? Confetti, a sign yes. up, yes, some yes, sort yes. of, woo, woo, woo! Yeah. Oh, hi, hi, hi from oh, Jordy's family. Oh, we have hi. Jordy here in training with us. Thank Such you guys for coming, and thank you for saying hello. Um, so yes, our new name is Happy With Dogs. We're really excited about it, uh, and we feel it represents our core values and kind of the root of what we do more powerfully than our previous name, which Rebecca's gonna touch on in a minute. Yes. Um, Lauren, Yes. Away. So although we just announced that big change that we're going through, we are now happy with dogs, um, basically the heart of it all hasn't changed. We are still here with training programs, with boarding, with daycare. Yes. Um, lodging dogs, we are going to keep all of those really, really, really great programs, um, but in addition with a lot of new stuff that's coming up. Um, some important things to know too is that even though our name has changed, you guys are still following the correct Instagram and Facebook. You do not have to update your social media. We are the You've same. You've already liked it. Yes. <laughs> You've already liked, liked it. You're there. If you haven't liked us, like us now. Like us. Right there. Right um, there. There's one other thing I want to touch on that you yeah. just reminded me of. So part of the reason that we're doing this name change and part of the reason you're going to see this new programming is it's almost like the training is necessary to have a foundation to enjoy some of these programs that we're starting to run now. Yes. They're very much connected to having fun with your dog, but also building a relationship with your dog, having great communication with your dog. So it's kind of like you could take our programs and go on a journey with us. You could start with training, yes. and then once you and your dog are rolling, then you can come and enjoy all this fun stuff. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And we did, uh, so for a lot of our training clients, they don't have fun places to go yes. to. They can't go, not every dog's for the dog park and we don't advise them. So we wanted to create yes. fun, exciting experiences and that's more who we are than just a training company. So it's really neat to be able to have this change. Yeah, and giving you guys the opportunity to do that with your dog in a safe manner. Like Rebecca talked on, uh, making sure that we have those programs available for each and every dog. And uh, no matter what yes. step you're on in the training journey, we want to have you enjoy your life with your dog. So with that, Becca, do you want to talk about, I know we were just talking yeah, about this. Yeah, we were this, just but, talking about this, yes. but we have a disc practice every for two more Sundays at 1030 at our location. Uh, what it is, is there's beginners, there's advanced there, but what we're really doing is just having fun with your dog and some Frisbees. Uh, if you've never thrown a Frisbee or if you don't know if your dog likes this, that's okay too. We'll, we'll help you throw a few rollers or catches to see what what your dog does. Um, and it's just about being out there and having a good time with you and your dog. That's it. I'm also going to plug, uh, we're going to talk more about BarkFit in a minute, but mm -hmm. I am a huge fan of anything that gets dogs and humans outside in the sunshine together, moving yes. together, getting some exercise together. Everything we're talking about now too is also a great way to like mentally physically yes. fulfill your dog's needs. And then when you get home, it helps a lot with behavior issues too, to have a dog that has expended all their energy and then is ready to relax instead of in the house going crazy and feeling too me. And especially during COVID where we're in Miami, <laughs> you can be outdoors at a social distance. We wear masks, but we can have a safe outing outdoors. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Okay. Uh, okay, so it's another program that we are starting up and that we're excited to tell you guys about is all of the things we're doing with puppies. Um, so especially now, everyone's getting puppies and we love having them here. And we wanna give you guys more opportunities to get your dogs um, out on that right foot to get them going in the world. And so we're gonna do that by lots of different things. We're offering a puppy class, which is really exciting. It's a really, really great class to uh, teach you and your dog everything about puppies so you can start with that really good bond of communication at an early age. I kind of want a puppy just so I can take the class. <laughs> I looked at um, so Lauren drafted this whole mastermind of the class. When I looked at it, I was I had FOMO. Like if I could go back to when I first yes. got my dog, I would have been in such a better position. Yes. Had I gotten that class early yes. instead of a lot of it's a really yeah. good class. It's <laughs> so much information, and it's great to get the information up front yep. before you're six months in and go, uh oh. Yes. Yeah. Uh oh, now this I is a problem. Monster. What do I do now? Or yeah. two years? Uh oh. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, I can't, don't have control. <laughs> what do I do with it? I also like to think about puppies as an 
good. It's like such an investment for the it future. Is an investment. Because yeah. dogs are going to live with you anywhere from nine to 15 years. You yes. know, you're going to have this dog a really long time. So front loading that investment of time, communication. Okay, so ahead. here, listen to this. Humans, how long do humans go to school? 12 years oh, yeah. plus? 15 <laughs> years? I don't know. Some people go their entire lives. And then we're dogs, like one week. See you later. Right. Yeah. Yep. Puppies need schools. Everybody needs attention, yes. learning, education. I uh, love that. Did you make that up or did you hear it somewhere? Well, well <laughs> I've been listening to some vlogs <laughs> lately. Yeah. Awesome, a little awesome. bit of this, a little bit of that. Okay, so um, we have puppy class. Puppy class, yes, puppy class. Um, and then also, too, I think uh, having puppies can be very overwhelming and yes. sometimes feel lonely if you're going through a lot of stuff. Um, and so it's a great community to also join, too, of owners who are going through the exact same thing with their dogs. Uh, puppy class is great, and then also too, we're gonna start a free puppy social. This is so, a big deal. This is a really, big, really deal. big deal, um, and it's going to be. This could be its own Facebook Live. <laughs> it should be. It should be. We will do that. We Next should actually week. do puppy social. Next week. <laughs> um, yes. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yes. Anyways, puppy social. Puppy social. So it's free. So <laughs> this is free programming. Yeah. I'm gonna talk on it, and then you tell me yeah. if I'm right or wrong. The heart of this is that so many people have puppies right now, and with social distancing, we get the question every time we do a live. We get a question: How do I socialize my puppy in the middle of COVID? Um, so this is an answer that yes. we wanted to provide. Yeah. We wanted a solution. Go yes. ahead. And that was my away. brain, like thinking of all the things that we'll do to on the live um, when I zoned out there for a second. But I think <laughs> the biggest thing for Puppy Social is safety. We're going to do this safely. We're not taking our puppies into an unknown dog park where we don't know who's vaccinated, who's got what, who's tromping around with poo. And <laughs> tromping around with poo. <laughs> and uh, also do it in a safe manner that your dogs are going to have appropriate play together. Um, and that's going to be supervised by trainers. And so we will be there. We'll make sure that it's all going in a direction that your dog is going to have a great experience so that they can have great experiences for the rest of their life. Yep. Make, make sure, sure if you're interested success. in that, that you RSVP so that we know yeah, you're coming. Guess. And we'll have to cut class at a certain point if there's way too many people. So get in yeah. fast if you're interested. RSVP, I'm sure the link is somewhere. Yeah, yeah. just message us. Message yeah, us, email, message text message. us. You have the numbers. They're there. <laughs> They're there. Um, Ooh, um, nice so one. the next one, uh, if you want to go straight to that, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so, so we're going to do a little teaser on this and then more information will be released later. But if you like joining us for these conversations and these fun talk that we get to go through, uh, look out for Bark and Wine. It is yes. going to be a really super fun segment that we have coming up. Um, we're just sit down and just chit chat dogs and talk about pretty much everything, I'd say. Yes. We'll yeah. probably talk about everything and also be available for questions. So, yeah. And if you yeah. can tell by the title, Bark and Wine. It's going to be wine involved, so it will be even slightly more fun than what Maybe we grape juice do. wine. Maybe, yeah. Mine will be grape juice. <laughs> That's okay. Um, Same thing. Okay. Oh, one more puppy thing. VIP puppies. VIP puppies. Thank you. Um, so VIP puppies is another thing, too, that I know Rebecca and I are especially excited about. Yes. Um, Melly, too. But <laughs> not as much as you guys. <laughs> you're taking them home. We are. <laughs> so we are going to be offering the opportunity for puppies who are coming into training camp to then be taken home by a trainer at the end of the day and spend the night in that trainer's household. So what that means is that their training doesn't stop here. They're literally going to go home, they're gonna be exposed to all different sorts of things in a home environment, uh, again, in a safe way. And then also that will get you on track with more of the potty training, more of those behavioral in-house behaviors that you might be seeing. And if they come home with me, they get exposed to cats too. Yeah. So and if they go home with yeah. Rebecca, they get exposed to a whole pack of dogs. Lots of dogs. <laughs> dogs. A whole pack of dogs. Yes. And I will dogs. sleep on the couch and wake up at night and take your puppy exactly. outside. And I would love to. <laughs> and so when we say they go home with a trainer, we're talking about those two. <laughs> yes, it's one yes, of those two. Us too. We're going to yes. take them home and love on them and potty train them and socialize them and do lots of things good for them. Yeah, it's a really great opportunity for them to continue growing and learning yes. in a really yes. unique way. Okay. I'm very excited about the puppies. puppies. I am too. We have a lot stuff. of puppy stuff. Okay, but also. Um, just to reiterate, uh, for anyone who signed in late, our big announcement yes. today was our name change. Um, we have officially rebranded. We've changed our name to Happy with Dogs. Our mission is to empower people and dogs to enjoy life together. And we love that this name reflects our mission and our core values a little more strongly than what we were using in the past. Um, I think that's it. Anything to add about our rebranding? No, okay, excited. so then uh, BarkFit. Uh, I want to talk about BarkFit. So BarkFit is another one of these new programs that really deals with just enjoying life with your dog more than training obedience or training behaviors. Um, BarkFit is like my two passions coming together, and I really feel like for me it is magic. I was a fitness professional for about 15 years, so a trainer, a health coach, a group fitness instructor, and then eventually I would lead those programs and do like big lectures about health. Then I got a dog, 
and everything, I, I became obsessed with my dog, clearly, and everything in my life turned into dogs. So being able to bring these two things together is really fun for me. Um, not only that, once I got my own personal dog, I found it very difficult to prioritize my health goals because when I looked at it, it was like, okay, I go to the gym, my dog's name is Rebel, or I take Rebel to the dog park. And if I choose, one, I love him, so I wanna choose him, but if I choose mine over his, he's gonna be crazy the rest of the night and I'm not gonna be able to do anything. So I found more and more often, I was not doing my stuff for my own personal health to prioritize my dogs. So um, I would go to these parks or places where humans are standing and dogs are getting an epic workout all the time. So I created BarkFit to like, gone are the days where humans stand still while their dogs run around. Like That is kind of my stance for BarkFit. Um, you work out with your dog, it's a lot of fun. We do cardio, we do strength, we do balance. But the idea is creating something that fits in your current schedule, saves you time, and checks a lot of boxes. Um, I think that's it about BarkFit. I'm running the first one right now. It's been so much fun, uh, and I'm definitely going to do a second one when this six-week course is over. I think something that's important about BarkFit that you don't mention often is what you learn. So you're not only learning the fitness stuff, but all the back stuff that you oh, teach them about your dog's fitness yeah. level, how to yeah. best look at their bodies, look at how they stand, look at how to do these things safely for them is huge. So Thanks, that's what Lauren. I really enjoyed about the class. Thanks, Lauren. She actually came and is taking the class. There's an online portion and an in-person portion. And yes, thank you for saying that. The yeah. online portion, I want to make sure it's safe and I want to make sure that you walk out with some valuable content. Yeah. yeah. There isn't a lot of safety um, issues <laughs> in some dog's activities these yes. days. So it's very important and also that you kind of know your stuff. So to do these actions safely with dogs. Yes. And the dog part, and then, you know, from my background of human, I also want to make sure that we're getting our health goals, too. And we can do it. Yes. One of the things I love about dogs and people and how we live together is that we have a lot of needs in common. So anytime, and I think anytime you can get those needs met at the same time, fulfillment, joy, all of that goes up. Yes. It's a lot more fun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we have right. puppy classes coming up. We have disc classes coming up. We have something called Bark and Wine coming up. We have <laughs> Bark Fit coming up. We got a lot of stuff going on, guys. Yeah. It's good. That's it's good. Hi guys, anybody on Instagram or Facebook? We're waving, saying hi to you. Let us know if you're there and in the comments. Today, we are excited to announce our name change. Melly just said it, I'm saying it again. Do it. We're happy with dogs. Um, I wanted to talk for a brief second about uh, where the name Cadence Canine com came from. Um, and the name Cadence was actually one of my dogs when I was little. I think I was about nine years old. It was like a blue Merle Border Collie. It's kind of sad. It got hit by a car really young and died because it like ran up this road. It's a very sad story, but kind of inspired the name Cadence Canine for a training company. And then uh, when I got out of the military in 2012, I started this company, Cadence Canine. So I moved to Phoenix and started training dogs. So 2012 until now, I've been training dogs, which I obviously love. And then uh, we've just evolved. We've evolved so much from a training company. And then Lucas and I got here in 2016 yep. in Miami. So 2016, we can count on our fingers and toes. Yep. Um, and we've just evolved so much. It's yep. really cool to see. Um, and it's been really fun to watch kind of the trajectory of the company. So when uh, Rebecca set out to hire two trainers, and she set out to hire one trainer. <laughs> right. <laughs> and then she happened to find Lauren and I at the same time. And we yes. both were doing this part time. Um, and then yes. a little by little, uh, we just, I think, evolved is the perfect word. We evolved. It was perfect. We shifted. We all um, merged together. Yes, we merged together. And all right. I think that's it. Yeah, I think that's it, guys. Awesome. Um, well, close us out. Yes. Thank you guys so much for tuning in and uh, tuning in for our big name change. And we are excited for the future. And uh, we just want to have you guys come along for that journey with us as Happy With Dogs. Yes. Please join us. Bye, Bye guys. Bye. Thank you. All right. That was so fun. That was a really good time. Yeah. Okay. We always think.